So then I learned my lessons. I have to rethink. I have to go back to the table and fix my prices right. Yes, I knew how much I spent in getting my product. I knew my landing cost. But the targeted audience are rich aunties and baby girls for life. So Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Rachel Nabon, and on this channel we talk about entrepreneurship tips, marketing strategy, businesses you can go into, social media tips, and lots more. Alright, so today we will be discussing about something really, really interesting, something that I'm sure you will love, and that is how to price your products to make profit yes how to price your product to make profit the reason why we are in business the reason why we are not running charity organization is because we want to maximize profits from our product and our services and sometimes we don't really know how to fix prices on our product yes it's wanting to buy products and if you're not making profit out of that business that is to say you are running a charity organization so if you really want to run a business that you make profit from then you should know how to price your product and this will help you to know if you're losing or you're making more profit which will help you know if you stay in business or you will change your business line so you need to know how to fix prices on your products this will really help you as a business owner as a small business owner because this is where we fail we'll just be in business selling our products without knowing if we are losing or we are gaining those that make these mistakes most times are small business owner especially those that are doing drop shipping drop shipping or pre-order you see a product you like you don't go details on how to calculate your profit and just go ahead and post you and post the product without knowing if you're making profit or not in this video i'm going to show you how you can price your product and make profit so if this sounds like your kind of video you can go ahead and watch to the end subscribe to the channel turn on notification bell and drop a comment if you're following what i'm saying all right so if you find yourself in the category of people that have been selling without making profit then you later realize that you are not making profit please come to the comments we need to talk we need to talk let me know in the comments if there are people like that okay so the first thing you need to know when pricing your product is cost of the product from the vendor to the customer how much it costs you to get that product from the supplier from the vendor to how much it will cost you for your customers to buy if you're producing this product yourself how much it costs you to produce that product everything that is needed for you to send the product to your customer okay let me explain this well all right let's say you got this particular product at ten thousand naira or whatever currency you're using the fact that you got that product okay what should i use for instance let's say you got let's say you got this airport yeah let's say you got this airport at 2000 naira you bought it at 2000 naira right i'm using naira because i'm a nigerian i use nigerian currency so you can convert it to your own currency right okay let's say you bought this product at 2000 naira yes so the fact that you bought this product at 2000 naira and and others are selling it at 2000 naira doesn't mean it should be 2000 naira the location you bought the product might be different from the location others got their products right how much you bought it might be different and unless you need to consider you have to consider the shipping that's the way be let's say you didn't buy this product in your city you bought it from another city say you're in port harcourt and you bought it from lagos you have to include your way be your shipping fee from lagos down to port harcourt that is one the extra that you use in contacting your driver that brought it from Lagos to Port Harcourt. You have to include this. Yes, they might look like minor expenses, but mind you, if you gather all these expenses together, they are enough to make you more money. So if you don't include all these minor minus expenses, you will see that you will start losing in the business without you knowing. Okay, so we go ahead and add up our shipping. That's our way be our airtime. 
the packaging because you are not going to sell this product like this to your clients you won't do that you will also need a bag something like this to package your airpod you might also need another bag that you'll put this velvet bag in it that is making it more bags right so you didn't pick this even if you produce this yourself you spent money to produce it so you have to include it in your landing cost so you have to include all of this all of this made up what is called landing cost yes in importation we call it landing cost in business we call it landing cost so you have to include all of this if you're going to run adverts for that particular product you also have to in include your social media advert cost and sum everything together then you can boldly fix your price if you're able to fix your price like this you add your profits so you will have your profit margin you include that if you're able to do it this way you will be able to make profit while pricing but whereby you just decide to fix price because of how your competitors are selling that product you might lose unknowingly so you need to consider all of this before pricing your products okay another thing you need to look at are your customers your clients who are those you're selling these products to who are the end users of your product you need to consider that too remember when i'm talking about products your services are also included you can also follow these steps to fix prices for your services but for your product you have to consider your customers that's the second you need to consider next who are those coming for your product who are your potential customers who are your targeted audience if you're using uh, adverts your set of customers will determine how much you will fix for your products your location too if your clients are the big guys the big boys then you should know how to fix your product then if your clients are just the average set of persons you should know how to set your product let me let me share one story with you okay so i started importation training and i became um procurement agent in 2020 so i was buying my products myself i was into bags and bags and shoes i was i was buying my products myself and you know if i'm importing without using an agent it's going to be cheaper compared to those that are importing and using agents it's, it's going to be cheaper compared to those that are buying from the local market then i didn't really understand so with my church mind with my good mind i decided to sell it at a cheaper rate because of how i was buying my products do you know that a lot of persons refused buying that product because the price was cheaper than what they were seeing in the market and they felt it was an inferior product yes i knew who my customers were then like there are those that can order bags worth 100k without shaking so because i was selling it very very cheap they felt these bags were less expensive not until three of them came to me not at the same time like on a different um scenario they came to me and they brought the bag that they bought with the bag i was selling the quality of my bag was higher than what they bought at a very high price so i have to explain to them that see i am a procurement agent i import my products myself and these people that you're buying from they buy from the local market and then buying from the local market means they bought from somebody that bought from somebody that imported so there's every tendency that their price should be higher than mine so because i decided to drop my you refuse buy my product and now you ended up buying an inferior product because of the cost so then i learned my lessons i have to rethink i have to go back to the table and fix my prices right yes i knew how much i spent in getting my product i knew my landing cost but my targeted audience are rich aunties and baby girls for life so i have to increase my price to what is in the market and they were buying happily the products were the same some of my products had higher quality than what they were buying and still today i still make profit from my products because of this particular method so you can try any of these two methods 
and let me know if it works for you in your business remember the goal for 2023 is for us to secure the bag so make sure you if you're running business you should run a business if you're running a charity organization you should go ahead and continue running your your charity organization but i just said i should stop by and share this with us if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you've watched my video up to here then you're wrong go ahead subscribe to the channel join the family and i will see you in my next video check out all of my videos right i'll see you in my next video for now bye